Welcome to the Lobo Advanced Platform System training video. The Lobo system is a modular work platform product which is reconfigurable into any shape or size without the need for any tools. The system flat packs into the Lobo range of tower stores. The three tower store units provide a lockable and convenient way to store, transport and audit your Lobo components. They can be deployed vertically without wheels or horizontally with or without wheels. The Lobo system is built on three different sized trestle legs or adjustable base plates. Trestle legs incorporating side clamps and top clamps together with round steel tube and low band couplers form the basic elements of the system. The low band coupler and all other Lobo clamps feature an L bolt which must always be tight. The three sizes of trestle legs and the adjustable base plate connect together to form a modular and scalable access platform system. Remove the height adjustment pin and raise the insert of the Lobo trestle legs. Always remember to reinsert the pin and tighten the thumb screw. The welded side clamps are set at predefined positions and all line up to allow total integration of all Lobo Systems trestle legs, base plates and round tube. To build any structure by using a trestle leg or base plate, take a length of Lobo round tube and insert it into the lower side clamp and tighten. Always start at the lower side clamp. Take the second leg and repeat the procedure, ensuring you use the lower side clamp first to allow the round tube to square up to the leg. Wherever there are adjacent side clamps, add more round tube to form the next load bearing level. These three tubes form the load bearing levels on the system as they are all supported by a welded side or top clamp. The round tube can be raised to provide handrails as required by removing the height adjustment pin. Always fully reinsert the pin and tighten the thumb screw. Here we can see how the round tube is inserted into the side clamp and tightened. It is possible to build a level platform on uneven surfaces, plinths, steps or slopes by using the low band coupler. There are a number of ways the Lobo system can be configured over a step or on a slope. For example, using the low band coupler, which is not load bearing, set the round tube height to provide a level round tube as shown. Fully tighten the low band coupler and ensure the trestle legs are vertical. Never use the low band for load bearing purposes. For example, in this case, only the tube at the top is load bearing as it sits inside top clamp. Lobo Systems low boards are all rated at 300 kg safe working load, uniformly distributed, and they come in a variety of lengths, widths, and top services. A hatchway door option is also available. Here we repeat the initial assembly process and use more trestle legs to produce a second trestle configuration. Any low board size can be used to suit the requirement. 
The low board when fitted in place should be locked in position by a small piece of round tube called a T01 and a low band coupler. Ensure the low band is tight and the L bolt is positioned on top of the low board to stop it from lifting up. Low boards can be configured side by side, end to end or at right angles. Low boards are designed to fit end to end enabling a raised walkway or ramp to be constructed. As they interlock, low boards cannot be lifted individually. Tow boards There are two types of tow boards, individual tow board pieces which are fitted with tow board clips and joiners to form corners and hinge which wrap around the edge of the low board. These are fitted by opening them out over the low board perimeter. They can be fixed down with a low band coupler and a small round tube if required. Handrail round tubes. Round tubes should be fitted at every standing height using low band couplers to form handrails. Tubes should, wherever possible, be fitted on top of the load bearing tube and secured with low band couplers. This means the tube can then be load bearing. The tube can be positioned exactly where needed and the low bands tightened to secure in place. The gap between the low board or the top of the tow board if fitted and the intermediate handrail round tube should be no more than 470 mm. The gap between the intermediate handrail and the top handrail should be no more than 470 mm with the top handrail tube set at 1 meter from the low board. Adjustable extensions To increase the system height, remove the telescopic insert and insert an adjustable extension. This can then be raised to the required height. Reinsert the pin and tighten the thumb screw to remove any movement. Adjustable extensions can be fitted to any trestle leg or base plate by removing the inserts and reinserting it into the top of the adjustable extension. The adjustable extension can be positioned back into the leg or base plate to the correct height by inserting the pin and tightening the thumb screw. Each time an extension is inserted into a leg or base plate, the height will increase by one meter. Always add cross tubes where there are adjacent clamps. Handrail uprights. When handrails are added to tube, ensure the metal tongue is inserted and the L bolt is fully tightened. Tube can then be inserted through the side clamps of the posts. Adjustable sway braces. There are three adjustable sway braces which are telescopic and so can be fitted anywhere on the system to remove unwanted movement. Adjustable sway braces form diagonal bracing across any low bow platform and can be fitted to round or square tube. Select the correct length from a choice of three, depending on the size of low board in use and adjust the telescopic sway brace length to fit. Reinsert the pin and tighten the thumb screw to lock in place. Use low band couplers to secure the sway brace. The sway brace can be moved to the optimum position. Handrails can be fitted above the current working height to ensure safety when an elevated height is being constructed. The advanced handrail construction process provides additional protection when the new height is reached. Always ensure the low band L bolt is tight and position tube on top of a load bearing tube whenever possible. Ladders 
Ladders can be secured to round tube anywhere on the system using Lobo ladder clamps. Always use at least two and ensure the L bolts are tight. Lobo Advanced Handrail System the Lobo system allows handrails to be fitted above working height from a lower position of safety so that the trained user should never be exposed to the risk of a fall. To construct the next level, insert extensions and tube accordingly. Ladders come in a variety of lengths and can be fitted from a position of safety using two Lobo ladder clamps at the top of the ladder. If the ladder needs to be vertical, two more clamps can be used to secure the bottom. Always ensure the ladder clamps and side clamps are tight and secure. Outriggers are used to increase the platform footprint of a structure, thus ensuring it always complies with a 3 to 1 height to base ratio rule. Outriggers should always be used to provide stability to taller systems and should be fitted all around a structure. Two low bands are required to fit each outrigger. To fit the outrigger, secure the bottom of the outrigger to the leg using a low band. Secure the top to the leg with another low band. Remove the pin to drop the outrigger rubber foot to the floor and reinsert the pin and tighten the thumb screw. Loosen the low bands to adjust down on the floor, then tighten to secure. Ladder guards. The Lobo ladder guard comes complete with a padlock and is secured from behind using the chain. When using low boards with hatchways, require the ladder to be in the outside of the tube. Cross tubing should then be fitted using low bands to complete the handrail enclosure around the low board from a position of safety. Low boards can be fitted to the next level and adjustable extensions form handrail verticals. Tool tray. The Lobo tool tray can be fitted anywhere on round tube to provide a convenient shelf when working on the platform. The brackets are designed to adjust to ensure a secure fit. Lifting slider beam. The Lobo system's lifting frame can be assembled using any size of Lobo trestle legs and adjustable sway braces. Lobo beams can be integrated into the Lobo system. There are five different lengths to correspond with five low board lengths. Insert the lifting slider beam into the top clamps and raise to the required height using the adjustable sway braces fitting using low bands to ensure the system is rigid. Outriggers and extensions can also be used to stabilize and increase the lifting height of the frame. Load calculations and stability assessments must be performed each time the beam is used. This ensures overloading and instability does not occur. Wheel kits. Wheel kits are available for systems on trestle legs and base plates and come in different sizes to correspond with the low board length. Remove the wheel from the wheel kit and by lifting the trestle leg, insert it onto the foot of the trestle. Repeat to place an additional wheel on the same side on the opposite trestle. Take the connecting square tube and insert it into one of the wheel top clamps to secure the wheel in place. Tighten the L bolt. Repeat the procedure for the two legs on the other side. Fully tighten all L bolts once the low board has been refitted and always ensure the brakes are fully applied before using the system. If the system has been built square and straight, the low board should slide easily around the tubes. Lobo gate. 
The Lobo gate is fitted using three low-band couplers, two to form hinges and the third to form a stop position on the opposite side to the hinges. Wall mount. WM1 is for tubes. They are used to create a load-bearing or tie-off point. It needs to be suitably secured to a structure and should be fitted to bear the appropriate loading. The information provided in this short film illustrates the basic principles of how to assemble the Lobo system and identifies some of its more popular components. The configurations that can be built and the potential of the system is limited only by the imagination. For your own safety, please always remember the following points. 1. Anyone building or using the LOBO system should undertake the LOBO course and be trained and certified by an authorised LOBO trainer. 2. Always read the instructions before assembling and using the LOBO system and consult the system catalogue if necessary. 3. Always ensure the system is safe and secure before using it. 4. Always ensure that all clamps are fully tightened and secure before use. 5. Pack away all component parts properly after use. Thank you for watching and remember full product and customer support is available via our website, email, using chat, Facebook, Twitter and telephone.